I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get the most delicious and cheesy macaroni and cheese my way emphasize on the my way please all right guys this is one of the ways that I make my macaroni and cheese um, when I want something really quick and easy here I have some elbow macaroni I'm just gonna go ahead and add them to my pot no I like to add it to my pot when my water is hot all right so I'm going to also add some salt all right and then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil just a drop of olive oil and the olive oil will help caroni or the elbow not to stick to each other then I'm just going to go ahead and just mix this around now I'm going to leave this for about seven to ten minutes until this is soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and put seven minutes or hmm, about eight minutes on my timer, and then I come back and check it. All right. So I will be right back when it's time to add the other ingredients. All right, guys, so it's been about eight minutes now, and I'm checking, and these are ready. You don't want to overcook your elbows, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and strain this water off, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've drained my elbows. Um, I, the stove is off, but it's still going to bubble because stove stop, you know, it's still hot. All right, guys, so here are my ingredients all right so i have here some butter this is salted butter you can use unsalted butter if you like you can use half a stick or a full stick i'm going to be using a full stick because that's what i like okay <laughs> yes all right let's go ahead and just mix this so the butter can melt gonna add just a little bit of salt you don't want to add too much and a little bit of black pepper then I'm going to add a little bit of milk about that much all right so we have two different cheese here we have some cheddar jack I'm going to be adding in there. Then I have some mild cheddar that I'm also going to be adding. I love cheese, so I'm going to add a lot. Kind of mix this to kind of melt. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of condensed milk in there. Now, if you have some evaporated milk, that's your best choice, but I don't have any. So I'm using a little bit of condensed milk, about a teaspoon of condensed milk. All right. I have never tried with a condensed milk. This is something new. So we'll see how it turned out. I don't want to put too much in there and then it's overly sweet. I hope it just blend in with everything really nicely. Now this is just a really easy and simple way. This is not the traditional way, all right? We have many different ways of making our macaroni and cheese. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little taste. Mm. This is good. Oh, wow. The condensed milk will really give it that kick. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy. All right. So now everything is incorporated, mixed in really well. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over to my oven safe dish. I'm just 
all this cheesy goodness on the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and the same cheese that I added in the beginning, I'm going to add it again. This right here is my, all right, so I'm just going to put it all, just basically cover the elbows. Where is see a lot of cheese? <laughs> Too bad because I love cheese. All right, so I have a little bit of the cheddar jack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the cheddar jack in here. So I have already preheated my oven at 350. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my oven for about 30 minutes or until the top is, you know, how you say it, brown or crusted until the top is crispy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my oven for about 30 minutes. All right, so when it's time to take it out, I'll be right back and show you the finish look. All right, guys, my macaroni and cheese is finished. Oh my God, it smells amazing. The color is right on point. I'm going to go ahead and give this macaroni and cheese a taste. I cannot wait, my mouth is literally running water. All right, guys, listen to the crunch that's on top. This is super hot, so I have to be careful. Mmm. Ooh. Oh God, yes. This tastes amazing. Mmm. All right, guys, if you enjoy this easy and simple macaroni and cheese, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that like button. Until next time, guys. Bye.